Hello fellow geeks and welcome back to Running Geek Girl. My name is Heather, the Running Geek Girl. I'm a little bit of a mess right now because I just came in from a run. Thankfully, social distancing has not kept me from being able to go out and enjoy a run because I tend to be a solo runner for the most part. I'm not really great at making conversation while I'm running. I tend to kind of zone out, let my mind do its own thing. But for a lot of people, I know it's really tough right now because they're used to running in a group with other people and social distancing really doesn't work when you're running in a group. I've seen pictures of people attempting to do social distancing while still running in a group and guys, unless you live with those people that you're running with, it's still not a great idea. Please do your part to flatten the curve and hold off on running as a group until this is all over. So while running by yourself isn't really a problem for people like me, it may be a problem for other people that are used to depending on a group to go out for a run. So what can you do in order to get your mind around running solo? First of all, one of the first benefits of running by yourself is reducing injury. There are quite a few people I've spoken to and their largest complaint in running with the group is that they feel pressured to keep up with the faster people in the group. And therefore they're pushing their bodies to do something that they're not quite ready for. You end up with things like IT problems and shin splints because you're trying to go above and beyond what your body is prepared to do. So consider this, that running by yourself allows you to reduce the risk of those types of injuries because you're able to go at the pace that you need right now. The second benefit to running on your own is that you can practice the pacing that you need for your body. You don't have to worry about leaving anybody behind if you suddenly need to run a little bit faster for a tempo run. You don't have to worry about being left behind if you're needing to slow down and recover. And learning how to pace yourself is one of the most important things that you can do if you plan on racing. So this is an opportunity for you to practice the type of pacing that you're going to need for whatever distance you're working on. A third benefit of running on your own is that this can be a great way to boost your creativity and work through problems in your mind. There's a lot of runners, uh, myself included, that tend to do their best thinking when they're out running. It's a great way to have time to organize thoughts in your mind. This is much easier if things are quiet and you can be alone with your thoughts. Or maybe you don't need to think at all. You can also use this as an opportunity to relax, to just turn your mind off, to just think about what you see around you, what you're feeling, and just let thoughts come and go as you need to. Running by yourself can train your mind to stick to the habits that you want to set. It's a lot easier to go for a run if you have other people that are counting on you to be there and depending on you to be there. However, if there's nobody there forcing you to go out the door, then you have to rely on your own determination and strength to get out and go for a run or a walk. I spoke in a previous video uh, that I'll link to here and that uh, one of the ways that you can find your motivation is to just challenge yourself to do 10 minutes. And this is similar to that. If you're afraid that you're going to get out of the habit of going for a run when you typically do, then train yourself to just put on your running gear and say out loud, I'm going to go for a run. I found a lot of times that just doing that much will do the trick. If I'm afraid that I'm not going to do it, I will put on my running gear and I will say it out loud. A lot of times I will say it to someone, I'm going to go out for a run. And then if in five minutes I'm not out the door for a run, I usually have someone ask me, didn't you say, just say that you were going to go for a run? So this is a way that you can maintain that habit of getting out the door and running when you need to. Yet another benefit of solo running is that it can teach you how to internally motivate yourself while you are out there running. A lot of times running will get really hard and you start saying things in your head like, why am I doing this? What is the point of all of this? When you're running by yourself, then you have to rely on your own internal motivation, your own internal voice to tell you that you can do this. You are strong and you can make it. This is a way that you can mentally toughen up to get yourself through your next hard workout. It also helps if you can visualize yourself stepping up to the starting line, getting through the hardest part of a race, or even raising your arms as you cross the finish line. As long as you can internally motivate yourself, then you can do it. And this is something that running solo can train you to do on your own. I will admit that one of the benefits of running with a group is that you have other people to talk to in order to kind of take your mind off of what you're doing. And if you're running by yourself, then you sort of lose that aspect. However, as I mentioned in a previous video that again, I will link to here and in the description, you can 
make all kinds of motivating playlists for yourself. Just zen out to some music. If you are reliant on conversation, then why not download a podcast and listen to that as you're running along? It's just like listening in on a conversation with some friends. Or a lot of people, if they're running by themselves, will find the most relaxation by just listening to the sounds of nature around them, especially if you can get out into an area that is out in nature, maybe up off the street. Some people don't have that option, but if you do have the option to get out into nature, to listen to birds, to bugs, to animals, all kinds of things, listen to the wind blowing. There's lots of things that you can listen to. And studies have shown that just listening and focusing in on the sound of nature does cause your brain to become more relaxed. Finally, keep in mind that running solo gives you a chance to check in with yourself as you're running. There are many times when in the middle of a run, I will just start at my toes and think about uh, how do my toes feel? How do my feet feel? How do my ankles feel? And I work all the way up to my head, concentrating on my form, how I'm feeling and what I need to adjust. If you're running by yourself, then you have time to focus on these things without any type of distractions. So there you have it. There are some thoughts on running solo for those of you that are used to running in a group. If you're the type of person who thrives on running in a group, then Hopefully this will all be over soon and you can get back to that as soon as you can. But in the meantime, there are quite a few things that you can see that you can enjoy about running by yourself. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Why not leave some comments and give me some thoughts about other videos that you would like to see on this channel. Give me your thoughts about whether you like to run by yourself or whether you like to run as part of a group, which kind of category do you fall into? Be sure to check me out. All my social media is going to be linked down in the description box and you can find me across most platforms under the name Running Geek Girl. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I am so glad that you were here. I can't wait to see you again and I hope you have a great day. Happy running everybody. By yourself it, it it that is soft you are right that's a soft pillow it's a pillow that's right mm-hmm